hello guys welcome back to our channel and in this video i'm going to teach you how you can start web hosting using your google drive all right so i know everyone has a dream of putting their vlog putting their website online so but that is costly and then there are web hosting services that are out there let's say for example wordpress let's say for example hosting or but they are going to uh, cost you uh, more than hundred dollars per year and uh, that makes sense that everyone wants it to be free and I'm going to help you on how you can use your Google Drive for web hosting alright so first things first you have to create a folder so I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it the way uh, I want my domain name to appear online so I'm going to name it Whiting University so one reason for this is that I want to create a online university that functions just like the physical ones. But I know that dream is very uh, elusive and it will take a lot of programming to do so. But anyway, I am trying to articulate it and share it to you. Alright, so now the folder is done. All we have to do is to create some files inside it. Okay, so three files must be created in this folder. So the index.html and then style.css and then uh, index.php. If ever I want to turn this uh, uh, to a dynamic one, but uh, turning it to a dynamic one will require a lot of uh, skills because it doesn't enable uh, to host or to link um, a database inside uh, inside Google Drive so I do not know why but maybe in the near future um, Google will be able to solve that so right now we're going to open up a folder all right so and that folder will be the whiteuniversity.edu.ph which is in my desktop and then you just have to um, click this one and then select folder all right so yeah it's uh, it, it's one of the reasons why um, having a text editor like the visual studio code is uh, an advantage all right so here you can uh, just click this and it will create a blank file so we can name it as index that uh, HTML so this is our home page all right so running file create participants and then it goes right here and it's a blank document okay so the next one is style.css all right so I'm going to name it as is because there is a automatic code okay that will link index.html to style.css so the last one that I'm trying to create is index that uh, that PHP okay so yep there we go so we go uh, uh, we go here to so go here in index.html and then we'll start coding okay so this will be the uh, like the home page of your uh, website so you can click that one and then since it will be the home page I can name this document um, like the YT then university and then slash um, or dash um, home page all right so you can write anything you want for the title so for the meantime um, I want it that way so here we go and then we're going to link the CSS here so say link then CSS so this should be inside this file this folder or this file must be inside the same folder or else will not be able to access that one okay so here i can say um the he heading h1 all right but uh, usually we have uh, we are putting the navigation here okay but i'm not going to develop that because uh, it's a little bit complicated so here let's say welcome i'm gonna write welcome to the all right so let's say yes why not 
than YT uh, University. So YT means YouTube. Alright, that's why uh, I try to put my lectures here so that in the near future it will be used in the YT University. Well, who knows? Alright, so right here, um, I think I want to put a link. Okay, so I'm going to use a link tag here. And then, yep. Alright, and then I can copy this. Okay, so for videos. Alright, so can I? Uh huh. So for the videos. And then that link should work by now. Then I'm going to save. So you go ahead and style that CSS, and then we do a little bit of styling here. So you you do that. And then you put it inside the brackets. All right, and yeah, we want the background color. For now, let's say it's uh, this one. Okay, we save it. And then we can try. Uh, to see what's in uh, what's in the, uh, what's in here all right how does it looks like okay so yeah one thing that it's uh, one reason that it's not able to read index.php is because uh, my local host at uh, port 5500 does not support um, a processor that reads PHP okay and I do not know if uh, if Google Drive will read it okay all right so um, so because it's not for dynamic web pages but I know in the near future they will solve that so I'm preparing it all right so we go ahead and then click go live here so if your Visual Studio code is set up property you can do the same and you will see that it will show up in this or in the other side of the window half of the window all right so style.css so why is that because oh there we go it, it didn't turn blue or aqua because of that yeah all right so if you check okay click the link so the link is working So you can see my videos or our videos here but anyway don't worry guys um, all the links are in the description box below all right so yeah there we go so the link is working then we get to dispose this one and I do not know if that will close anyways it's working so uh, what next alright so the next thing is we can actually upload um, the folder in the Google Drive alright so upload the Google Drive uh, upload it to the Google Drive so do not use your important Google Drive so create another one because if uh, we are going to give access to the full drive to the entire drive and it might be corrupted so there must be a, a, a boundary so you are going to devote one new Google Drive for this all right do not use your uh, old ones okay because uh, drive that uh, drive to web okay will access everything will try to access everything and then they can even uh, delete the data okay the files in your Google Drive so make sure you create and use another uh, Google Drive for this a new Google Drive for this and do not make use of that Google Drive to other uh, for other uh, purposes all right so this is my drive okay that I created long ago then we'll try to um, yeah drag all right the folder here 
okay and then we're going to rename this okay rename uh -huh. so how to rename boxan and then mm. where is that yeah this one because it's uh, it's not English I didn't see it I'm not used to reading anymore the Tagalog words how cruel of my language all right so this one um, we uh, we we put that here because it is uh, they are assuming that you have your domain name okay so assuming you have your domain name you have the www dot the white university dot edu dot ph wow sounds great all right so click that one then um you're going to share this folder all right so yeah it, that's it you're going to share this folder to anyone all right so this folder has uh, yeah this index.php well i haven't tried that one yet anyways um <clears throat> yeah you're going to share this to anyone who has the link okay so uh this one click this one ibahagi means to share okay so uh this one um anyone anyone sino mang my link or anyone that has the link okay um you're the um as a viewer so you can set okay you can set it here and then um i want to add myself so that i can modify using uh, my 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 personal account and then as editor then you have to copy the link okay and then uh, send him okay just to make sure that this is uh, saved and uh, what do you call it sent to my personal uh, email all right so right now I want to go ahead and okay I think I have to go uh, I have to copy the link first to a safe place so I'm gonna put it right here yes uh -huh. all right all right and then you go ahead to drv dot tw drv dot tw so that's drive to web and then we're going to sign in and then uh, we'll allow drive to web to manipulate <laughs> or yeah to mingle with our google drive so host on google drive or host on onedrive you're using microsoft account you host with onedrive but yeah i'm using google so i'm go going to click this one All right, so this one. All right, so you read this very carefully, okay? Uh huh. So it's actually asking for permission all over the Google Drive. So you do not have any choice but to let this program or software whatever it is or application to do whatever it wants over your Google Drive that's why um, for security purposes um, it has to be something that uh, it has to be something that um, it will be safe okay so there you go so you can now just use the following web pages uh, to everyone click the link to open okay so if you click this link all right so we click this link then we'll try to open the link for a new tab 
and then this is your site name and then you can actually change this all right so we're not going to leave but uh, we're going to open it in a new tab let's see our home page there it is and it is live all right live that's live all right so you can actually change this one so you see that there is a key here and it makes uh, uh, makes you uh, secure a bit <laughs> okay so I didn't know just how much safe is this yeah it depends on the level of security of course all right so there we go and we are able to host okay online using Google Drive and yeah you can now publish your work hustle free and free and free okay so yeah lowest price that's free zero dollars all right so guys I hope you learned something for today uh, from the university please click the subscribe button hit the notification bell okay to get updated whenever I post contents like this love you guys bye